we had only seen that that there was a an equation called the schrodinger equation which is this where psi is the wave function psi is the wave function and and we are not currently in a position to solve this but we saw that its solution gives you three quantum numbers right so it gives you three quantum numbers and what are they they are n l and m okay so so the solution was n l and m this was called the principal quantum number the principal the main right main quantum quantum number and, and this is called as z mutual as z mutual th h this is h a l quantum number and this is called magnetic quantum number <coughs> right where psi is psi as we had said is the wave function psi is nothing but the wave function psi is the, the, the wave function wave function and e is the energy right e is the energy of the electron energy of the electron which includes all the kinetic the the p the mutual repulsion the mutual attractions you will understand more of it when we do the electrostatic part of it why there should be potential energy between two static charges right <clears throat> but but there are potential energies if this is q1 this is q2 you only know this at this junction and they are separated by a distance this then the potential energy potential energy u is given by is given by k q1 q2 upon r where k is a universal constant whose value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 right that is the potential energy between two charges which are at rest trouble here is the nucleus is at rest the electrons are moving so the mutual energies between them have to be factored in right there are ways of doing it but it requires some complicated mathematics right <clears throat> now the wave function it contains all the information regarding that electron contains all information regarding that electron regarding the the electron right <clears throat> and and we had seen that that its value depends on the coordinate of the depends on the coordinates of the electron right fine fine it is a function so otherwise it has no meaning but when you put the coordinates it gives you the information about all the electrons around <coughs> okay and and such wave functions the wave functions for the hydrogen for the hydrogen or hydrogen like atoms hydrogen like atoms hydrogen like atoms is called an atomic orbital is called atomic orbital is called an atomic orbital okay and and these are are atomic orbitals of one electron system right because hydrogen has one and hydrogen like hydrogen like means mono electronics right so 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 that is hydrogen like atom 
Fine. Now for a long time it was not known what Psi meant or, or, or what, to, what to do with it. But ultimately it was found that that mod Psi squared represents the the probability of of the probability of finding an electric finding probability of finding an electron finding an electron at a given point at a given point so it will represent So it will represent mod of psi square at a point will represent the probability of finding an electron at that point provided you put in the coordinates here so it will give you some value you take the mod of it square it it will give you the probability of finding the electron at that point right we understand Now all the all the phenomena, okay? The the psi explains all the phenomena. All the phenomena observed in the hydrogen atom. including the line spectrum we have seen that in the hydrogen line spectrum thing was derived by us for by the classical method okay we derived it if you remember okay that the final energy is equal to minus 30.6 upon m square and then for n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 we were able to predict the radiation that will be absorbed or emitted in moving from from lower to higher it will be an absorption and from higher to lower there will be there will be an emission of electrons so we had done done that if you remember if you do not just just go back flip the pages and, and see you, you, can, you can find that okay now we come to the thing that for a multi electron for a multi electron atom Schrodinger equation is becomes very complex to solve, very difficult to solve. Okay. So we have to take the help of approximate methods approximate methods okay methods and it is only of late okay now now computers they are able to solve it okay at for for all points almost all points you have to map all the points around an atom you understand and not in a 2d in a 3D. So, so, so if, if this is that, you have to keep on solving it for all. Understand? Now it really becomes extremely complex. Fine? Fine, because then only you will be able to give me a map of where to expect an electron, where to expect an electron in a given case. And that will also be probabilistic. We will we'll soon see there is a certain amount of probability that we fix. In, in which they'll they'll be they'll be found in in the kind of an area that we specify, right? So, so, so it is only now that that we have been able to solve it. But but one thing that that kind of will give you relief to you that but their solution their solution gives 
approximately the same shape of orbitals with the difference being due to increased electronic charges they have shrunk a bit okay with the with the little shrinking okay we have just collapsed a bit so so it's not that from one atom to another you get a remarkably different shape of orbitals so understanding one of them kind of makes your understanding for all of them all of them uh, across the board right for all of them fine so so due to increased nuclear charge due to increased due to increased nuclear charge get that fine there is a slight difference in the multi electrons in 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 hydrogen atom in hydrogen atom <laughs> the energy of the electrons the energy of the electrons we saw depends on depends only on only on n did we see that that my energy en is minus 13.6 upon upon n square right this n is the principal quantum number we talked about so there it depends only on n in multi in multi electron atoms energy energy i'm sorry this is g okay energy depends on both n and l understand it depends on both n as well as l okay and and this thing we'll we'll make use of while finding out the electronic configuration so remember this point this is this is an important point to 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 remember that here it depends on both n and l rather on n plus l right fine so here we saw that as n increases the energy increases because it becomes a smaller negative number no from minus 13.6 it it suddenly became minus 3. Point, minus 3.4 right minus 3.4 is greater but here it will it will be the sum of these which will decide the energy so so that bit is important to to be carried forward fine fine so we we will we'll now see what values these orbitals will take and what do they connote what do they signify right